Yep, finally I also have an Atomstack X20, the first diode laser engraver that mounts four laser diodes in the same head for a total power of 20 watt. I'm a little in late in doing this review because this model was released in April, but I can finally present it. To say that it's powerful is an understatement. It is a monster of power. I'll immediately show you a test I made with a solid piece of wood 2 cm thick. This video is in real time and we can see how in, in the first pass the laser ray already sink deeply. In a few passes the laser is able to cut this piece demonstrating a very high working dip something almost impossible to achieve with other kinds of lasers. This laser achieved this result thanks to its enormous power and a long focal length lens. I also do my standard test cutting a 5mm poplar plywood. The Adamstack X20 can cut in a single pass, where a 10 watt laser requires two passes, while a classic 5 watt laser requires 4 to 6 passes to complete this test. Some YouTubers have even tried to cut small thickness of steel with this laser. The cut is slow and the result is not particularly beautiful. So, I do not recommend buying this machine if you need to cut metal. But this test gives an idea of how powerful is the Atomstack X20. Now I want to show you something more. I want to analyze the laser module to see if it's true that we really have 20 watts of power. Let's start from the fact that I don't have a tool to measure such a high optical power, because I only have an expensive laser power meter capable of measuring 10 watts at most. But with a trick, I can still do some interesting measurement. The trick is to cover half the laser beam and measure the power coming into the meter, so I should stay in the measurable range. The meter reaches 9.7, 9.8 Watt, and so we can safely say that we have a laser of about 20 Watt optical power. I will also show you how the beam of this laser projected on the wall looks. You can see perfectly the four aligned diodes. One of the things I like the most is the possibility of removing the protective shield and the air assist cone, so that I can use the laser even on surfaces that have protuberance, as I am doing with this capacitor that I want to open. In case you have to work without the protective screen, I invite you to be three times more careful and to keep your safety glasses at all times given the enormous power involved. What can be said, ultimately? The laser is truly the most powerful on the market today. Other competitors are starting to present their 20 watt module only now, five months late. Atomstack has done a great job on this machine. The design has remained almost the same, even if to support the weight of the new laser head, they have replaced the light mechanical parts with double side bar. Now the wall frame is built with double height aluminum profile. The laser is truly the most powerful on the market today. Other competitors are starting to present their 20 watt models only now, five months late. The cost of this machine is still very high. We are talking about $1,000. At this point, one wonders if it is not worth buy a CO2 laser for the same amount. To answer, it's necessary to bear in mind that compared to a CO2 machine, diode machines are extremely comfortable, practical, light and easy to handle. In my opinion, all point in favor of Atomstack X20. 
However, we keep in mind that similar model, but with 10 watt optical laser and the higher assist system, easily reach $600-$700. So, all in the price of $1,000 is in line with the market. We will see what happened now to the price, seeing that the competitor are also started releasing equivalent 20 watt models. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe.